Yankee Clock 45 here. That's fun, yeah. This is a car PM9. Okay, that's what I was playing with right there. Nine millimeter for those who don't know. And uh, those are steel targets painted gold. How'd I get a PM9? What am I doing with this gun uh, made by car? You've seen the little car that I've uh, done a video with, the, uh, the P380. This is the PM9, a pretty popular gun. And uh, She's pretty well, has been my experience thus far. What happened here was, uh, as I kind of uh, intimated when I uh, got the XDs, that I might not keep them. And, uh, well, I knew I wouldn't keep one of them, and I got a really good deal on the other one, and so I uh, sold it to a Fort Campbell soldier, by the way, a really nice fellow I met. And uh, I turned that into a car, PM9, basically. And so uh, we're going to work with it. I like it. It's a gun I might keep. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. Might shoot it, do some videos with it, maybe trade it. But uh, actually, I really like this gun so far. So let's talk about it just briefly and do a little comparison. This is kind of the initial video and just uh, kind of a first impressions and let you see what uh, I think about it at this point. I haven't had it very long. I have it broken in. I have shot it. Uh, they recommend a couple hundred rounds to get them broken in. I think it's had a couple hundred rounds now and uh, no, no malfunctions. Done fine so far, although I'm shooting my hand loads here and I don't sort brass or anything like that. Uh, so we'll see, but uh, uh, we'll shoot it some. Okay, comparison. A little quick comparison. Empty. That's the PM9. Here's the P380. Boom, you've seen that in the video. And uh, you've seen this good old Glock 26 in the videos, haven't you? Now the Glock 26 is way too big. The P380 is way too small. This gun is just right. It's in the middle. <laughs> just kidding but uh, there is a difference isn't there quite significant really uh, let's go extremes here we got the p380 and I did this in that particular video as well uh, the old Glock 26 looks like a huge firearm okay let's compare it with the uh, PM9 the uh, 9 millimeter car you can kind of see there the uh, the car is smaller it's thinner same caliber, a little bit shorter in, uh, in most every way. Barrel's not significantly different, but it's a little bit shorter as well. So, polymer frame uh, car is very much like a Glock. Uh, however, it's not a Glock. You don't get the exact same feel of a Glock, I'll have to say. Although I have no complaints about the car yet. No. They, uh, they function, uh, not had malfunctions, so that's the main thing. Uh, this gun, uh, as compared with the 380, some of you have, quite a few of you have a car either in 380 or in 9mm. So, again, there's the difference between those two. This little uh, P380 is quite a small gun. I'm not going to shoot and review it again. Uh, however, I did do a uh, got. Homeland Security or the IRS flying over again, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that, all right? Hey, folks, uh, we had a little <laughs> extra noise there from some of our fine uh, folks uh, from Fort Campbell flying over, so we had to stop the video and, and uh, let them get back to the, to the base up there. It was so loud, they're almost at treetop level. Hopefully, they were not looking for me. If they were, they saw me. But anyway, we normally don't cut these videos, uh, but we did. Uh, we wanted you to be able to hear every profound word I utter, right? So what I was doing, I think, when uh, <clears throat> our troops came by was uh, I was just showing you the difference between the P380 and the, the PM9 the, in the terms of the size. And uh, both guns at this point, I have to say, are really fine shooters for guns so small. You know, such small guns. Now, the P380 uh, especially, and because uh, I've shot it a little bit more. And in fact, I put together an article I believe is going to appear in uh, Florida CWL magazine. So uh, they've invited me to do some writing for them, and which I probably is going to work out. I don't know. Uh, I've not done that before. 
but uh, I did my first one on that particular gun. I think it's going to appear this summer. Uh, so we'll see how that, that goes. There seem like some really good folks there. But uh, again, this gun too. I've not had malfunctions. It's, uh, it's, it's cranked right on. So uh, it's broken in, I think. And uh, we're going to shoot a little bit more here and see what we can do. Now, you know that the Glock 26 and the Glock 27 are a couple of my favorite guns, so not neglecting these babies. Uh, they, they will shoot at long range, and uh, it's just the Glock does not make a gun like this. You know, I mean, look at the difference. So this is a niche that Glock has not addressed yet, and uh, neither have they addressed right there. If, uh, if those said Glock on them, I'd have had them a long time ago, you know? So it doesn't have the exact same feel of a Glock, but it does have a feel of quality. Uh, when you chamber the first round, those of you who have these guns, uh, you know with a Glock, you can put a loaded magazine in there and let's do it. You can ease that slide down, <laughs> you know, and it'll, it'll chamber around. You know, can't, and that was a hollow point. You can't do that with these guns. You have to get the slide all the way back and then release it with the slide lock. You have to do that on uh, chambering that first round. It's just, you have to do it. Either that or you gotta make sure you really slingshot it. You cannot ease that slide down. It will hang up every time. It bothered me at first, but I got to realize that on both of them, okay, as long as you do it the correct way, cycles every time. So, so far that's worked, worked just fine, but it's a different feel. Okay, let's just take a few shots here again. Let's put our ears on. Right. Now I'm a newbie with this. I have lots of excuses for not being able to shoot this gun. It's smaller and I haven't shot it much. And let's see, uh, the barometer's not right. The sun's not right. Uh, probably think of some other excuses. out of ammo with this gun. Uh, doesn't have those uh, high cap Glock magazines, so you have to stop and uh, refill them a little bit more often. But of course, you know the purpose of this gun. Uh, this is definitely a small gun, a pocket gun, and uh, it wouldn't have to be a pocket gun. I think the P380, I, if that's not a pocket gun, I don't know what, what is. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody carrying it in a belt holster somewhere. but. Uh, I think the PM9, you know, you could argue either way, depending on uh, your personal preference with that. But uh, let's load up a couple more mags here. I have noticed with this gun, uh, it shoots uh, more at a six o'clock hold. You, uh, you have to hold on the bottom of those plates or lower in order to hit them. Whereas with the Glock, it's a uh, hold right on. So it's kind of back to a six o'clock hold with, with this gun. I got to remember that. And we'll see how that works maybe across the hillside here. Oh, let's go pig hunting down there. See if we can come close to that rascal. Not bad. That's a little gun. Uh, caught me on that one. I noticed that it didn't lock back on the, on that last round there, did it? That's okay. Well, I'm not sure where I was hitting there on the old turkey and pig. Uh, let's see. I know I'm asking a lot of this little gun because that's, uh, that's up there at about 60 yards. But 
you know me, I like to see how far they'll reach out. So we'll try a couple more mags. Go for the gong. See what we can do with that. So I'll have to remember that didn't uh, lock the slide back on that one. All right, let's go for the gong first. Then I'm going to come back and try to get that pig again or that turkey. I don't like to let them beat me like that. Okay, 80 yards. Trying again. Yeah, I got a hold about halfway up the gong. All right. Feels good, feels good. This gun has a, for those of you who have not shot a car, uh, at least these particular models, it has a long, kind of a long double action only trigger. Both of these do. And that's something that uh, is different from a Glock, different from a lot of guns, I guess, but uh, feels pretty good. I'm going to take a couple more shots out there at uh, that turkey in the middle and that pig. And uh, just to show them, I am not the sort to give up. I'll take a shot at the goat and I'll just finish up here maybe with that other mag. Let's see. All right. <laughs> and one more on the gong. Not bad, not bad. Uh, shoots pretty well. Uh, nice trigger, has a nice break. Nice break for a long trigger pull. So uh, that's the PM9. That's just kind of my initial shooting. I probably shot more than I really intended to. I get the shooting at those animals over there. And if I have a little trouble with one, I just hate to give up on him. Uh, Got to keep them trained right, you know. If you just continue missing one and walk away, you know, they get the upper hand on you. So PM9, nice little gun. Uh, thought you might enjoy one of the initial uh, shootings of it. I have shot it enough to break it in, as I said. But I kind of like it. So... Uh, for now, I guess we'll just sign off with that baby and uh, kind of like it. Life is good. <laughs>